Hi, welcome to Crochet Jewel, Amy's CrochetPatterns.com. And I'm going to show you how to make these crochet mini mitts pot holders. I used an eye hook and a J hook. I used medium worsted yarn. The pattern is down below. My links are down below. I think I'm going to start placing um, my playlist for crochet for beginners too just in case um, you need a refresher on how to do stitches, as well as um, I have my link down below for how to place your video in slow motion if this is too fast for you. I do try to go slow. I even place my videos in slower motion, but I know as a beginner, um, it can be tricky. So um, when you make these mitts, one of the mitts on one hand, you'll need an eye hook, and then the other part of the mitt, you will need a J hook, which I will explain. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, in the magic circle with the eye hook, I'm going to chain one and then work five double crochet. So grab the yarn and yarn over and pull through two loops for a single crochet. I have magic circle links down below. You are going to make two of these, one with an eye hook and one with a J hook. The eye hook will be for your thumb. The J hook will be for your fingers. You will make it the same exact way except for you will do more um, rounds with the one for your fingers. So you have five single crochet. And then pull the magic circle and then slip stitch to create that ring or this round. You can work in continual rounds if you want to. That means you won't need a slip stitch, you just keep working. But I used a slip stitch just in case to show you. Um, the first stitch you'll work a single crochet two times and then in each stitch around it's a repeat so you'll work two single crochet in each stitch around and that will be a total of 10. Once you bypass the uh, increased rounds then I'm going to start working in continual rounds without a slip stitch because the slip stitch does create a stitch mark and I like to keep it in a continual stitch so it looks better and looks smoother. These mini pot holders so you're going to slip stitch and then you can use a stitch marker to keep track of your rounds. These mini pot holders are great grippers for like your pots you can grab them without being burned. So you're, I usually like to use my tail for my stitch marker. So in the next stitch, I'm going to use the single crochet once and then an increase. So for this round, it's one and then two and then one and then two. So there's two for an increase and then one in the next and then two in the next. So you'll just repeat that around for this round. So this is um, a slip stitch if you want to, or you can work in continual continual rounds because that slip stitch does leave a mark. You could even do a chain one. So one more increased round. So one single crochet and then one in the next. So it's one in the next two stitches and then two increase. So it's one, that's an increase there. And then it's one one and then two for an increase. Okay, slip stitch and work a single crochet in each stitch around for seven more rounds. So seven more rounds. I did seven more rounds on both of them because with the larger hook, it just makes it bigger for the J hook. And that will be for the, all your fingers. 
So after you do your slip stitch um, and you do all your rounds, you can chain one, pull through. So seven rounds on both with the I hook for the thumb and then the J hook for the fingers. If you want to make the thumb a little bit smaller, you can always go down on an H hook. Just depends on the size of your fingers. It's pretty stretchable though and it fits. I think it's like an all one size fits all. Then you're going to sew the two ends together to make like a little ham mitt with um, both sides of your hands with your thumb and your fingers. Just sew it back and forth and then you will weave in your ends. Okay, so once you're done, you place the small part on your thumb and then the larger part on your fingers. And you can grab a hold of your pots and your pans that are hot. It's a little mini finger protection. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.